Bocca. My name is Chris and today I'm going to cover Neuralink's live stream demo of their device which they hope will solve in the near future, like paraplegia, epilepsy, blindness and a lot more. Some things will sound like the stuff of science fiction, like the ability to provide humans with super vi superhuman vision and the ability to upload your memories to a robot so that you can, in theory, live forever. Sounds incredible and insane at the same time, right? So for the next 10 minutes, I'm going to bring you hopefully like a fun and interesting summarization of like a 90 minute presentation. Obviously, in doing so, some things might get glanced over or maybe missed. Now, I'll try not to mind you, but if you want to go see the talk in full, look, I've left a link for you down below. And well, let's get into it, shall we? First, Neuralink is like an American neurotechnology company. They were founded by Elon Musk in, uh, well, and others in 2016. Located in San Francisco, they've got like 100 employees currently working with them. And their presentation today was actually a call uh, for people to come and work with them on this like exciting new development. Elon said that they are looking for people with skills in either like materials, electronics, biology, robotics, chemistry, surgery, software, animal care, neuroscience, and well more. And he noted, and he really stressed this, you don't have to be a brain surgeon to actually go work with them. They do have one staff, mind you. But yeah, he did say that. So, if you've ever worked with uh, like shipping out things like a smartwatch, a phone, or any other complex tech, they actually want you to please put an application in if this excites you. All right, so what do they talk about? Now, not to throw water on their announcement, I need to say that what they are doing here is, well, nothing new. Rather, using Elon's words, they hope to be, by order of magnitude, a lot better than what is currently on market. One of the first slides showed a brief history of what is already available in this space, such as the Utah Array, that's like a bed of rigid spikes with 100 channels to monitor brain waves in the actual brain. The other device they showed was like a deep brain stimulator with 8 to 16 channels used to control like tremors, epilepsy, obsessive compulsive disorder, and more Parkinson's disease. To date, treatment of Parkinson's falls into like either medications or surgery. With the latter, I've seen firsthand, whereby surgeons carefully insert a probe deep into the brain and then tunnel a cable down through the neck and like to a chest where like a battery operated stimulator sends electrical pulses to the brain and thereby reduces like the Parkinson's symptoms of those involuntary uh, movements, as you might know them as dyskinesia. Another device not mentioned in either presentations, which no doubt you'll be familiar with, is the cochlear implant, an Australian invention, go us. This actually sends electrical signals, not sounds, to the cochlea, and that in turn, in the brain interprets as sound. Magical, right? So, Neuralink aims to do what these devices are already doing, but with far more applications well, and abilities. The device itself looks like the size of a large coin, which is placed into the skull with wires that are either embedded like a few millimeters into the actual brain. The wires that make up the sensor and transmitter are like five microns in size. Now, to compare that to like a human hand, which is actually 100 microns, that's like 95% larger than this wire. Elon did say that as technology improves, they hope to improve the size of this and bring it down to like sub micron size, which is already pretty amazing. These probes that they already have right now are already minimally invasive and when done right, they don't actually cause any bleeding or damage to the brain and importantly, they can be removed at no harm to the patient. The coin size transmitter is capable of running 1024 channels with sensors and hardware taken from like smartwatches and mobile phones. They measure six axes of movement, temperature, pressure, and well more. And the Neuralink device can transmit data at, at 100 kilobits per second. One of the engineers noted that sensing and stimulating could be handled on the device or via someone's phone using like a Bluetooth connection. Importantly, the whole platform is designed to be programmable and upgradable over time. So whilst the width of the probes might decrease in diameter or actually increase in length so as to do deep brain stimulation, the possibility is to harness a fully custom chipset and digital platform will mean that people who have them, who are implanted today, could maybe see improvements made over time as Neuralink learns and grows its technology. 
For those wondering about battery life, they said that it would be inductively charged every night and it could be uh, removed and changed in the future if need be as well. Which then begs the question, how do they get this into someone's skull? Well, a robot of course. Neuralink's neurosurgeon noted that humans aren't the best candidate to be implanting these tiny five micron strands and what with a little bit of hand tremor and well, breathing. Yep, that's actually a thing because you know, this Da Vinci robot designed for other surgeries, they actually smooth out the inputs that the surgeon does because who knows, he may have had one too many coffees in the morning. So at present, the machine is only like doing some of the procedure, which can be done under local anesthetic in one hour and will mean that as a patient, you actually walk in, walk out on the same day. Pretty amazing stuff. Whilst they didn't show any gory video of the robot doing the actual installation, they did demonstrate it moving around. What's unique about Neuralink is that its ability to be not just a recorder and monitor of brainwave activity like the Utah Array, or this one that actually maps the epilepsy regions of the brain, but it can function like a deep brain stimulator or a cochlear implant and generate impulse signals to replace lost neurotransmitters. Neuralink currently read writes at a resolution of 20 kilohertz and at 10 bit resolution with a pickup time of no less than 900 milliseconds or nanoseconds actually, 900 nanoseconds. That's crazy fast. Sounds impressive? Yeah, well, before too long, they actually hope to improve this by a factor of 100 to even 1000. In the live stream, they, throw, they showed like three little pigs. One of them was being very camera shy. And one was like, uh, either had the implant in, one who currently has it in, and one who acted as a control and therefore never ever had it. The team noted that they, th they chose pigs because, well, their skull anatomy closely resembles humans, and that the pig's brain has a sensory cortex located in a similar spot to humans. Now, the cortex, by the way, it's like the outer part of your brain, and it plays a vital role in your intelligence, personality, moving, like moving your body and limbs, touch sensation, language processing, and a little bit more. By focusing their efforts on these critical functions, it means that with less invasive procedures, the device can be implanted and also cover a lot of diseases in a short amount of time frame. Showing a live feed of one of the pigs excitedly enjoying some food, and well, how that translated into an amplitude sound wave. Later, they actually showed how the modeling was accurately predicting neuron signals and overlaid them on the pig's actual waveforms. This, this is significant in that, well, the tech can obviously predict joint position and measure actual movement. The implications are huge in that they could actually help someone who has pleasure. That's like an inability to move, say from like a spinal cord injury and um, send signals via like a virtual two-part system to jump over a damaged part of the spine. And so the neurons that aren't damaged would be able to then pick it up, enable a person to, who would normally be wheelchair bound, to be able to walk. Very, very important stuff here. Now, a really cool demonstration was photo microscopy, picking up the electrode firing. Seen here, an electrode from the device fires. They appear red on your screen. And when the neurons pick up that signal, they translate to something, say, like move a leg or move your snout. Or, and obviously, these are appearing green on the screen. This demonstration of how Neuralink's implant would mimic and replace lost neuron function is, well, crude at present. Because, well, even though the microscopic technique is down to an order of magnification, which I can't even begin to fathom, we had to appreciate that the brain is made up of billions of neurons in something that is typically just 1.5 kilograms and no larger than a few pieces of fruit. So Neuralink did note that whilst they're working towards like stimulating just one neuron, currently their electrode is actually influencing potentially millions in that one little region. So their sensitivity uh, and control over this is something to be working on. The next steps to undertake will be like to get into human trials. And well, they recently received FDA breakthrough device designation in July. And well, that will then lead the way to like human implantation soon, further to like uh, other approvals and more safety testing. 
of note, they did stress several times how Neuralink design and engineer every aspect of this device from the chip software and how they can provide privacy and security through like in encryption and authentication pathways by like separating hardware components like, like an antenna so that the system can't be compromised. The live stream concluded with about an hour of questions and answers, which I've actually kind of covered in this video so far, I hope. <laughs> and um, But the one standout for me and worthy of mention was Elon saying that this device, you could summon your Tesla. <laughs> Wrapping up. Sadly, release is some time off. When it does come out, price will be expensive and well, uses limited to like cortical surface sensing and stimulation. That will mean things like uh, treatments for blindness, hearing and paralysis will be the first generation offerings, which is still very good. Later versions will have deep brain implantation. So that means hypothalamus stimulation designed to treat depression, anxiety, addiction and Parkinson's and could become like a thing of the past. I personally think that this device has great potential and is promising in that it's already streets ahead of current market offerings. Controversially, one that made me sit up was its potential uh, to be able to like save and replay memories. Not, noted by Elon as like black mirror stuff. He thinks that you could actually encode memories and you could select and store them and then future upload them to like a new body. <laughs> yeah, or maybe like a humanoid robot. As he put it, the future is gonna be weird. Well, and as I put it, your future is gonna be scary. So, that's basically it. Neuralink presentation, hopefully in 10 minutes, hopefully. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. I cover like tech, renewables, and more, a lot more. If you wanna take it to the next level, join me over here with these awesome individuals on Patreon, where you get the exclusive behind the scenes content, early access polls, and more stuff you just don't get here. Big shout out to my producers there, and that's Ashley Hill, Nigel Farrier, Ray Johnson, and Tessa Nagong. And hey guys, you be good, and you be great.